Yo, what is going on, guys? We are back with a Dokkan battle video, and with <clears throat> with uh, the whole uh, assault melee situation with global, and then you know, Legends is just Legends, right? There's always something with Legends. They're always, you know, making improvements and then always backstepping, right? I figured we just we'll just make a chill video with Dokkan, right? Because Dokkan seems to be at like the best place in terms of the three games like obviously Dokkan obviously we all know <clears throat> Dokkan has its issues too but it seems to be the best out of all the three gacha games that I do cover so we're just gonna be taking a look at what uh, what content could we expect to fill the six months that's in between global and JP in terms of the anniversary right because obviously we're gonna need stuff to keep us busy until July, which is the global six year anniversary, where we will be getting UI Goku Man, the man himself, and presumably Evolution Blue Vegeta, who is not confirmed yet, but it obviously makes sense because ever since the two year anniversary, it's always been Goku and Vegeta, right? Because you know, the main characters, duh, it's, it's what's gonna bring the most profit, so it makes sense. It's gonna be an Evolution Blue Vegeta, right? That's what we're all speculating because it makes sense, but. Starting off, we have the monkey boy himself, man. We have the furry boy himself, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who is what we all think the next Dokkan Fest exclusive to come out on Global, right? It just makes sense, right? Because after Golden Freeze on JP, it was this guy, right? So this is what his banner looks like. He does come back with one of the Dokkan Fest LRs, which is Gohan and Goten, man. So I don't think it's wise to summon because there are more featured units than a normal Dokkan Fest, right? Like Frieza's banner, who is, by the way, one of the best Dokkan Fest banners to ever come out. So yeah, it's actually kind of weird because, I don't know, I think I'm going to summon for him, bro. You know, Gogeta being my favorite character and all, especially Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, bro, the fur, bro, his animations, all of that. I think I'm going to summon for him, bro. Like, it's not the best choice because, you know, eight featured units as such. And then you have this Nova Shinron who's decent. I actually never got to play with him. I, I, I haven't even watched any videos right, containing him because I don't really care about the unit. It's a, it's a Nova Shinron unit. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, the, he's going to be coming out presumably next, literally the next time they announce a Dokkan Fest, it should be him, right? So if we see that his event is about to go away, then we'll know that he's the next unit, right? We'll know he's the next Dokkan Fest unit. Moving on. We have Dokkan Fest Bojack. Now, Bojack is actually a very, very good Dokkan Festival, bro. I've seen all the tier lists. He's always top 10, top 5, probably. I think he's literally number 5, generally, from what I see, right? And his banner is actually pretty, pretty good. Zengia, I don't really know how good she is. I'm pretty, I heard she's decent. And then, you know, these, this is actually a very good lineup. Literally, him being the worst unit here, but, like, Bardock is very good. Tech Gohan, we all know Tech Gohan. Future Gohan, this guy's actually really good. And 13, did I, did I say 13 already? If I didn't, he, he's, he's very good, though. All right, I did pull him recently. He's very, very good for what he does, right? It's only if he had an active skill, he'd actually be top 10 TUR, right? Because he is like Bojack. He is like Cooler, where in his base, even like Gohan, right? They, they all support, right? In their normal forms, right? And like before they transform, they all support. But him... He does, I'm pretty sure Gohan too doesn't have an active skill, but they just transform right away, taking away the support, right? And, you know, then it's not, it really makes no sense, right? It should be an active skill so you can choose when you want to stop supporting your units and then go crazy with the unit, I guess, or whatever, right? But this is Bojack, right? Uh, his banner will be coming out after whatever Gogeta, I think. So he'll probably come out for like March. I'm guessing because Turles is supposed to come out as well. Now he's actually a tricky unit to place because with the simultaneous release of Gohan and um, with Gohan and what what's his name? Um, I'm already forgetting stuff. Uh, Gohan, right? Wait, no, I, that, that's not what I meant to say. But with the simultaneous release of Gohan with Global and JP, that's what I meant to say. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to place him because he's supposed he's he is supposed to come out where Jiren is right now He's supposed to be in Jiren's spot, but since Gohan came out on global and JP Jiren got pushed up right because Jiren is supposed to come out where Gohan came out and then Turles is supposed to come out where Jiren came out now So it's actually pretty confusing. I am guessing he'll come out for the partial celebration of Gogeta's 
a celebration, but it just wouldn't make sense, right? It'd make more sense if he came out with Bar- uh, Bojack because, you know, they're both, uh, they're like the same, right? They're both movie bosses. They're both like, you know, support units. I'm pretty sure Turles is on Bojack's category as well, so it just makes sense, right? And they're both runnable with each other's categories and all that. So it makes sense for him to come out with uh, Bojack, but that'll be a while from now, right? And I mean, with global shenanigans, right? With the global first and stuff, that is what messes up the schedule of global releases. So I don't know. It's kind of hard to place him, but he'll be coming out for the part two celebration of one of these two banners. So do be sure you guys, uh, I don't know, stay. T- I don't know, stay tuned. I guess, but I mean, it wouldn't be the. It wouldn't be in your best interest to summon because look at this banner. J- just, just look at it. And then ask yourself if you really want to summon. Like, Turles is really, really good. He's he's one of the best LRs in the game. One of the best units in general in the game. He's a support unit. And he, he's, he hits so hard. He gets type effective against all types somewhere in his passive. He's, a, he's just ridiculous, right? And he's he's dumb. And if you run him with either the AGL TUR Turles, who's still good, I guess, for support. Or his TUR, which not a lot of people will be able to do, right? then he he just he's even crazier right but just look at this banner and tell me if you're really gonna actually summon for this guy i'd say you just wait because if anything i hear like people saying that he is going to be on the ticket banner right for the six year anniversary where like when you get five tickets you could do a five unit summon even though it's not a great chance to get it it's better than it's better pulling him for free you're gonna feel way better pulling him for free than going into this banner getting shafted not even getting him at all right then you know so it's just it's just like that next we have PyCon and Janemba now these guys were just here for the New Year celebration or yeah right New Year celebration for the uh, JP version right I think they're actually still up if I'm not mistaken on uh, JP that I have to check I, I don't know if he's still up but or if they're still up but um, yeah so this is their banner it's actually really really good them bringing back SDR Gogeta and Vegito well, a tech Vegito, right? The LR counterpart for the, you know, five-year units makes it very, very enticing to summon, right? So I wouldn't blame you if you go in with the hopes of pulling these units. And Tech Boo is really, really good. I mean, Broly and Gogeta, they're still good. Like, I was just talking about this unit, right? If you pull Terrorist and you have this unit, they'll still be a great rotation together, right? Supporting each other. And these guys are still very, very good to this day, right? And this guy, his EZA is still good. You know, he's not really great on ter- in terms of defense, but he still hits very, very hard. Three million at least. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't really blame you if you summon. Plus, they're going to have the tickets. They're going to have the three for one, right? Where you get the... Uh, third step free so like yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be I mean I think in May because last year if we well we're not gonna look for that banner but if we remember about the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku and then the uh, Super Saiyan what Super Saiyan 2 transforming into Majin Vegeta, uh, Vegeta yeah right that those units they came out in May, they came out in May, and then after that, you know, UI Goku came out and all that. But uh, yeah, so they came out in May, which is when I think we'll see these two bad boys. I guess, right? When when did the year? What was the year before that? I don't remember. Was it? It was Gogeta and Broly, but we actually got that earlier because of the whole movie releasing globally in like February. So we actually got those units early. But in terms of last year, Goku and Vegeta, they came out in May, which is Probably when we'll see this guy, these guys, probably April earliest, but I think May, right? Just to like you know expand the slot, uh, the expand the slots and like you know fill in for global stuff, right? Now I have these two banners up, right? Uh, Beerus and Kid Goku. I have these two banners up because these were the two banners that followed directly after the four, the four and five year anniversaries, right? He came out after Goku LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta. And then he came out after um, uh, Gogeta and Vegeta, right? I, I'm all over the place. Forgive me, guys. But uh, yeah. So they came out right after the anniversary banners. And they also came out on Global, literally the Dokkan Festival for the six year anniversary, right? Because there was nothing to fill it in with. So they just gave us these banners, right? Which was supposed to come out for Global 2, right? After the anniversary. But it was nothing to put, so they just put it before the anniversary for Global. 
So I'm presuming that th these banners came out, what, July? For, uh, it actually doesn't show it here. But they came out for like July, right? Because you can see here, they came out March, right? Right after the anniversary celebration. They came out in uh, June. Did I say July? I meant June. But I, they came out in June, right? Right before the anniversary in July, right? To fill up that slot for the month. And I think whatever comes out for JP after the 6th year anniversary is what's going to take up the June Dokkan Fest slot, right? And then we make our way to July, which is our 6th year anniversary, which we will get the big boys themselves. Hopefully is Evolution Blue Vegeta. I, I'd actually be really excited if it's that. But there could be other units too because I'm hearing that it's going to be a Dragon Ball Super Celebration. Like, hey, it's going to have all of everybody. And even so, it's going to be Tournament of Power, which is like one of the hugest arcs, right, in terms of characters and how good and OP the characters in there are, right? So there's a lot of options of what could come out with like Goku, but Evolution Blue makes the most sense. It's what people are going to want. It's what's going to make them the big bank. It's what's going to hit top, top grossing, and it's what makes sense. So hopefully it is uh, UI Goku, which is confirmed, right? That's why I keep saying UI Goku and not presumably UI Goku. I keep saying presumably Evolution Blue Vegeta because his figure already came out, right? So we already know it's a UI Goku, right? And we already got the icon, the logo, and all that further confirming it is UI Goku, which hopefully he does come out with Evolution Blue Vegeta again, which makes sense. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we have here. We have these banners, which... If anything, I recommend, if you want to summon for a Dokkan Fest exclusive, it's Bojack that you guys summon for. He's very, very good. His banner is very, very good. He does have a limited amount of featured units, the good amount, right? The one that's viable enough to summon for. But for me, here's who I'm summoning for, bro. I have to. You hear his theme in the background right now. I just, I have to summon for him. And then after that, I've, I, I'll actually be comfortable saving until the anniversary because none of these banners entice me. Well, not this one because it's already passed, but these three, which is actually crazy because there's not a lot of content left, right, before we have nothing else for them to put for us, right? So, in my in my predictions, right, I think the times, so, oh, actually, I forgot, Saiyan Day, Saiyan Day, right, which is why this Bojack won't be coming out in March, he'll actually come out in April. I forgot that there will be the Saiyan Day Celebration units, which will come out simultaneously for March. So after the uh, Dokkan Fest uh, for the 6th year anniversary for JP, then another Dokkan Fest comes out, which is Saiyan Day, which a lot of people are thinking is going to be the Goku and Vegeta unit for, like, Gogeta. Like, you see the uh, Worldwide Celebration Vegeta unit, that they think is going to be the Gogeta counterpart, right? Like, the two Goku and Vegeta's fusing into uh, Gogeta, right? That'll actually be really, really cool, but I don't want that right now, only because I do want to save my stones, and I'm going to have to summon. It's a Gogeta unit, right? I'm going to have to try my best to summon for that, and I don't want to. I want to save for you at Goku as much as I can, which is actually going to be pretty easy in terms of these. And let's not forget, they could also hit us with a, a global first too, right? So there's content that, that's going to cover up, right, from now until the 6th year anniversary. We have enough content, right? Because if anything, <clears throat> right, so we got this guy next probably like he takes up the whole month of february then if he comes out then he'll definitely like they'll both be for february then in march i don't i think i think he'll he'll be here until the sand day unit right after him we'll get the sand day dokkan fest exclusive and then after that in april we'll get him and then after that we'll get these two in may right they'll take up the whole month of may and then after that, we get the Dokkan Fest exclusive that comes out after the six-year JP anniversary for June. And then after that, we get the big boys, right? I think that's how it'll be. But uh, yeah, that's enough from me. Uh, before this ad even plays, let me uh, mute it real quick because we are at the end of our video. So uh, yeah, that's all we have, man. Let me know what you guys are going to be summoning for. Let me, let me leave off on the banner that I'm going to be summoning for, right? The banner that I'm excited for. Even though his banner is not the best of value, I can still use Kefla. I can still use Go Bros. I'll, obviously, I can use the new unit himself, right? So uh, yeah, for me, it's going to be a pretty good banner. Let me know what you guys think, man. Let me know if you're going to be saving until the anniversary. Let me know what you guys think could be coming off of Saiyan Day as well. And yeah, that's all from me, man. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, all those things, and peace out.